The quiet of a Darwin morning, broken by a tribute 80 years in the making. At 9.58am on Thursday the 19th of February 1942, Japanese planes commenced their deadly bombing campaign across the city and its harbour. It was the worst ever attack on Australia by a foreign power, killing at least 230 people, mostly Australian and American servicemen. Among those at today's anniversary, one of the last alive to witness it firsthand, 101-year-old Flight Lieutenant Brian Winspear, who vividly recalls the horror when he and his fellow servicemen responded to the raids. Near misses all, all around the trench, and uh, I got splinters in my hand and a splinter in my eye, and I blew my tin, tin, tin hat off. As he lay a wreath, the veteran took centre stage. And those who were once foes, Japan and Australia, made a show of their enduring friendship eight decades on. I think Australia and Japan you know, made a great example of achieving reconciliation and peace together. With a dwindling number of people who remember the bombing, Larrakia man Richard Fijo wants stories like those of his grandfather and his brother, Aboriginal men who enlisted and fought, to never be forgotten. We must remember these stories. We must always remind people that this happened so it never happens again. Thousands came together in Darwin to remember those who perished 80 years ago to the day on February 19, 1942, and to remember how the bombing of Darwin changed Australia. Miles Holbrook-Walk, ABC News.